My name is Nick Moore. I'm 71 years old. In the 70s, I became an official of the Building Workers Industrial Union. And in 1977, I suffered what was then known as a nervous breakdown. Today, that would be regarded as a mental illness. I battled to overcome the problem, and this is my story. I was an organiser with the old Building Workers Industrial Union. The environment was much different to what it is today. In those days, the employer clearly had the upper hand. And it was very difficult to ensure that reasonable conditions prevailed on building sites in Melbourne. There was ongoing conflict in regards to safety. Every issue in those days had to be argued out on the site. You were in this situation where it was necessary to take an aggressive role, even though I always considered myself not a very aggressive person at all. The outward image was a person uh, that appeared to be quite overconfident at times in order to ensure that those people I was dealing with didn't detect any weakness in my performance whatsoever. But underneath all that, I was fearful that I wouldn't be able to succeed in carrying out my duties. A little stress is a good thing uh, because it'll raise the adrenaline and it may even improve your performance. But too much stress will get, it will eat away at you and you will then seek some uh, way of overcoming that, that the strain. In those days, your reward for doing a sterling job all day was to uh, head immediately to the pub. I had uh, noticed that the level of my consumption of alcohol had increased, and I wasn't enjoying it like I used to, but uh, after X number of pots, I felt a little bit better and the things that were causing me concern disappeared into the distance. But when I woke up the next morning, the problem was still there. I was spending an inordinate amount of time at work and in the pub. And it didn't dawn on me that I was actually neglecting my family. Nobody would have been aware that I was suffering from what is, I suppose, a disease because part of the whole thing is to cover everything up, to make very sure that nobody suspects that you are thinking you're a failure and therein lies a big and major part of this problem. On the day that I had what was then called a nervous breakdown. I visited a site at the bottom of Collins Street. The foreman on site, he was a friendly chap that I knew, and I popped in just to say hello to him, and uh, he asked me a question pertaining to the award at the time. And as I was about to answer the foreman, I actually broke down in tears and it, I was quite shocked. It, wasn't, it, it, was, it was sudden, it just happened. And so I was shocked. Why was I standing in front of this man crying? And then of course I was totally embarrassed, you know. I, a big, strong, tough building worker, uh, breaking down in tears. There was no clear diagnosis of, um, uh, as there perhaps would be as time went on, and perhaps they weren't as competent in that area at that time as they are now. 
I'd have to say that uh, that the, the, the circumstances that I went through in those in those days lead me to think that I was suffering from depression. I started to reduce the amount of alcohol that I was consuming. Didn't give it up. On any occasion where I was confronted with a difficult situation that I was too proud in the past to seek assistance with, I now immediately sought assistance. If I couldn't resolve the problem, then I reported it and someone else, either collaboratively or singularly, solved the problem. So I stepped back. I did not put all the pressure on myself. I shared the load. I decided that everybody knew I'd had this mental condition anyway, that the best thing to do was to talk about it. How you going, Mark? Nice to meet you, Nick. Good luck, Matt, yeah. If yeah, the same circumstances right. arose today, I would leave no stone unturned the... to seek the best advice from those people and the best treatment from those people who are trained specifically to carry out such work without any question. I would seek to share the problem. Right? You'd be amazed at how many people actually love you and want to help you. But if you don't tell them what's going on, how can they do that? I'd say the difference between the circumstances that prevailed back in the 70s compared with today is that there is much more acceptance of the illness today. What about discipline? Because there's a I still work part time, which I enjoy immensely, uh, but I spend other other times uh, cooking, reading, I learned how to garden, and occasionally I can uh, beat my son over nine holes. Occasionally, so life is full and most enjoyable at this late age and I hope it'll continue for some time to come.